Hey guys, I'm playing a game, you might as well call it the ultimate mindfuck. But, I'm, I'm just, can't, I have been waiting for, to buy this game for a long time. I just haven't gotten the money in the Steam account yet, but now I do, and I'm playing it. It's gonna be so fun! <coughs> uh, there are uh, alternate endings to this game, so once I finish the game, I may play different endings. Because I want to, you know, explore them <coughs> and stuff. Right, begin the game. Sometimes you want to, like, because I've seen just, like, a little bit of videos on this. You just want to, like, not listen to the guy. Because it's, you know, funny. Like that. Stuff. Click. This is the story of a man named Don't Stanley. Don't skip these. These are funny. Stanley worked for a company <coughs> in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. We'll just let you he sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Best job this is what to... employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul wounding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one Oh. single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Weird. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, this is where, okay. <coughs> hmm. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Here, one sec, guys. I'm gonna, for you guys, I'm gonna... Um, how do I put? Here, one sec. I'll be back. I'm back. I figured it out. I was just putting on close caps. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply <coughs> left a memo. <coughs> no matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, <laughs> but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> Maybe for this one, I'll do everything he says. <coughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Absolutely, sir. Hey, one sec, guys. I'll be right back. Um, something just came up. One sec. Yeah, and I'm back. I just... Um, backwards button. I want to listen. To Yet there was not a single person here either. Oh no! Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Room closet. Upstairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This is cool. I'm gonna do everything he says, just for this first playthrough. Won't be able to get it all in one video, obviously, but. I want to go in the executive bathroom. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. 
Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss <coughs> had find it two, an eight. extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. Yet incredibly, <coughs> by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code <laughs> by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. You can see that? This is fun. I like this. So far. Sometimes I just don't know what this guy wants me to do. Because this, this guy's hard to read, guys. Why would this boss want to go down here? It's kind of weird. What? Don't load on me, man. Don't do downloading. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred? Pretty fast elevator. This question would not go unanswered for long. Yeah. Can I go back up? Okay, then. <coughs> Click everything. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Jump off. Dang it, you can't even jump. Press. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What? What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Bye. My now last the monitors one. jumped to life. Their true nature. Oh, 427, that's each me. Each bore the number of an employee <coughs> in the building. Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many <coughs> individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This is weird. This game's hard to read. Well, not hard to read, per se. This mind control facility, it was it too, too horrible, horrible to, to believe. believe that couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Yes! That his emotions had been manipulated, yes! accepted blindly? No! He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was Where it is even this? Possible? This can't be an Earth. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Have you, Stanley? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. So for is. he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I gotta go to faculty power then? B. I'm gonna, I'm gonna press. Mm. Mm. This game is fun so far. Like. Can I run? This is a horror game. No, it's not. But I should be able to run. And when at last he found the source of the room's power. 
He knew it when he was. Don't, don't, don't. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I don't know. Yes. He, he had, had won. won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go or what to do. My job, Stanley! Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. Whoa. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley nice. stepped through the open door. No, he didn't. Stanley wanted to keep his life, so Stanley kept going with it. Okay, Stanley stepped through the open door. Is this a ended already? This is a, the short first ending. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things, things were, were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. <coughs> well, that was a really short first <coughs> Stanley parable alternate ending, or ending. I guess you could call this the first ending, because I mean... But I'll be doing lots more, and I know the other endings are longer. But yeah, that was fun here. Let me see if there's anything more after this. I'll cut to the end of the loading. But it says beat the game as achievement, so probably not. But, you know. Yeah, it just restarts the game, guys, so. Here. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. This has been R and A in our studios. Like, come um, subscribe if you want me to do the other alternate, alternate endings, but I'll probably do them anyway, no matter what you think. But, so, thanks for watching. Bye. I just want to click. No, alright.